Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I can't help but feel like we're closing in on the end of this game. So I'd just like to thank all of you who've been a part of this journey one more time. It really does mean a lot to me. But yeah, I think that's enough cheese for this intro. Let's jump out right here. Okay, yeah, so we're back here in Saint Denis. Been a while. Feels like a lifetime ago. But yeah, here we are. Hey, we're gonna talk to Sadie Adler. She always hey, has something spicy going on. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Ooh, this is looking nice. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? <laughs> Cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis suits you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me, and I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't Yeah, Arthur needs to stop, you two man. Quit it. Just... Y'all got know, a job to do. Annoying at this point. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? It's kind of messed up, though. How? People used to just hey. stand in line and right. watch a uh, good hanging. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh. Here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Okay, here we go. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go, quiet. Bunch of cops. 
How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Okay, let's go, let's go. Hello? Bonjour, monsieur. Here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Gallows, gallows, which way was he? Is he gonna be? Is he somewhere down there? Uh. He has to come. He's gonna come out of the door. I know it. Oh, oh, whoa, what? The boss is gonna swing. I promise. You wish we'd had him. Show me that song. There we go. Welcome. Here goes your escape plan. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage. Ooh, the only so way wanna to deal just shoot with him, him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen. You are, are gone, dude. Call Modrisk. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Oh no, Sadie's gone crazy. Where are they? Are you it? That was 
was nice. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. That feels nice, I'm not gonna lie. That really feels nice. How you get on, Arthur? Well, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> And we saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? Exactly. What? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from Sandini a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and I promise there will be no recurrence. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter either, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. When I read about your recent activities in the newspaper, I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we're apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything, for everything long ago, and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant, and the giant wins time and again. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Damn, man. She just got heavy. Oh god, that was bad. Now what do we do next? Let's head on over to John and blow up that bridge. Okay, here we are. Where's this dude? What? Arthur, what was how that? you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. But I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or, well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? What reason you got to stick around at this point? 
It's done. I don't see no way out of any of this. What about loyalty? That's long been broken. But what are you gonna do? I gotta see this through. Try and make some of it right. There was a code we had. Gotta still mean something. Sure. I know, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. We've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more us. I mean, we're about to blow up the bridge for Christ's sake. Okay, I can't do this because of sticky keys. Annoying. That was so annoying. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. Okay. You should be good there. Take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Okay, that was good. Grab the other one. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Oh no. 
Oh shit! Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Oh god, I can't press shift so fast. Faster, buddy, come on! I'm gonna die, aren't I? Arthur, the train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Get ready to jump! It's right on us, come on! That was so close. Goodness. I would have never been able to do that without a controller. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Come on, dude. Let's go fast. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Yeah, yeah, baby. Let me do it. This is gonna be glorious. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, boom. Oh, boom. I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 Alright guys, that was good. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys know the drill by now. Leave a like, comment down below what was your favorite part and how long do you think this game is gonna go on for. But yeah, until then, this has been Blackout Haze and I'll see you guys in the next one.